Hey y'all, it's Megan. Welcome back, glad you're here today. Today we're getting up our uh, sweet potatoes. So if you saw a video from a, probably a month ago, we come out here and we dug them. Wasn't real impressed, but we gotta get a cover crop sowed down here. So we're gonna go ahead and get them up. They've been uh, in the ground. It's been well over a hundred days. So we'll see if this bottom land down here grows sweet potatoes. Hopefully it looks better than it did about a month ago. So just gonna bring y'all along with us. Picked up a little bit. Just that little short piece there. We filled this bucket up. And these are white sweet potatoes. But they are the perfect size for what we use them for. So we're pretty tickled with these. We've not had great luck with sweet potatoes through the years. So looking good so far. We'll see how the red ones turn out. What kind of potatoes are these? These are them red mystery potatoes. Oh, okay. These are the ones, y'all, that we've talked about all summer long that we don't know the name to. <laughs> but boy, they've done good. Look at there. Let me show you a little comparison here. Let me pick that up. That one got hit by the plow. But it'll, it'll be all right. Those are some nice looking potatoes. <clears throat> Starting right here, I think, is where them Covingtons are because they're a lot darker red. Right here. Y'all tell me, look at this potato here and how it's curled up. I've never seen a sweet potato do this. And every one of these Covingtons, we only had like six or eight slips. Every one of them grew in a wad like this. And they're all wrapped around each other. I would never seen that done before. I, I don't think I've ever grown Covingtons either. So maybe that's what they're supposed to do. But um, those are some pretty potatoes. Though. One other quick tip for you. This right here is goldenrod. It's starting to bloom here. Fun fact, the old timers say that it's gonna frost in four to six weeks when that stuff goes to blooming. It's also got a lot of medicinal properties. Check into that. I'll be coming out cutting me some, hanging it up to dry. Uh, just like we expected, that middle section out there, I don't know if you've kept up with uh with our garden stuff or not. But the, the vines never really done good in this whole middle section. It was just on both ends. And so we didn't really get much out of that middle section, just a bunch of little long stringy potatoes, which we can still use those too. But they're not like this. This right here, my goodness. These potatoes, in my opinion, almost got too big. But golly. They work good for tater fries though. Yeah. they. That's the biggest sweet potatoes we've ever, well, it's the biggest ones we've grown in a very long time. Let's put it that way. Last year, our taters, we planted them in a really wet spot and they rotted. They didn't do good. I can't remember the year before that. We didn't get any. Yeah, I don't think we did. That's but uh, we have been planting pretty much the same slits. Well, you know, from the same potatoes year after year, we've got enough to continue on with our... Uh, you know, planting the, to plant them, but this and, beats all I've ever seen. And if you hadn't seen our sweet potato slips video, one good thing about sweet potatoes, they are a very good sustainable food source because as long as you have leftover sweet potatoes, you could probably get what, a hundred slips off of one potato? Uh, probably like 50. If yeah. you've got a good potato and you put it under the ground, you can make 50 slips easy. Yeah, so, and then there's your plants for you to get more potatoes next year. And also, in my opinion, I think sweet potatoes keep better than Irish potatoes. Um, if you keep them in a cool, dark spot, they, they keep really, really, really good. Um, so that's something to keep in mind if you're not planting sweet potatoes. And you don't have to plant them in a huge spot like this. Like, we've got them up there in a raised bed at the house, too. Or we did. We've already pulled those up. But yeah. um, So you don't have to have a huge spot. You can put them in a raised bed. And mm -hmm. it's a good food source. One other thing I do want to say is this was our first, our first year of keeping the potatoes and using the slips. We had enough last year to do that. But what I meant by we've done the same potatoes year after year is our slips came from the same lady. And that's those mystery red potatoes that we have. Because she don't know what they're called either. She don't know what they're called. Nobody knows what they're called. <laughs> um, we had a suggestion on the uh, 
on one of the comments of what they were called, I mean, what they may be, I looked them up and I really don't think that's what they were. I did at first, but then after I looked a little more, I don't think that's what they were. Um, but as you can see, these are like a deep red color and those are red, but they're not like red red. You know, they, I, I have no clue what they are, but they do make good potatoes. So I'm not complaining with them. We just don't know what they're called. But these Covingtons here, we actually bought these six slips of Covingtons from Tractor Supply. They had them in a little tray. Paid way too much for them, in my opinion. But I wanted some something else to put in with our variety here so we could, you know, have more than just those mystery potatoes and the white potatoes. Well, and that was a one-time investment. <laughs> yeah, and that was a one-time investment. Now, from now on, I'll have the potatoes I can get slips from. So, uh, I just realized I've been telling y'all wrong. Jacob come running up to me, and we actually found the tag of where I put it in the ground. They're not Covingtons. They're Beauregard, Beauregards. Um, I knew that, and I just got mixed up, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so y'all, the mystery potato we've been talking about, in case you're new or you had not seen that video or whatever, the leaves look like that. It's the only sweet potato vine that I've ever saw, personally, that has leaves that look like that. You know, normal sweet potatoes have those heart-shaped leaves, but these don't. So, I don't know. If any of y'all know watching this video knows what they may be, um, leave it down in the comments and maybe help us out here a little bit. But from now, for now, we're just gonna call them the mystery potatoes. <laughs> well, I think we're done. This top row didn't do quite as good as the bottom row did, but it hadn't been planted as long either, but we were kind of just ready to get them out of here. Um, it's time to get this field tore up and plant it in a cover crop or something. But anyways, uh, now we'll need to take those home and lay them out somewhere where they can kind of cure, I guess you would say. And they'll lay out maybe a, well, heck, you can, if you've got a good place out of the weather and a good, cool, dark place, you can just let them lay there for, from, you know, that's where you can store them at. But now my grandma would always take, when she dug her sweet potatoes, and she would lay them out on the ground. and let, As long as it wasn't going to rain, she would lay them out on the ground and let them lay there in the sun. And, you know, they'd lay there for two or three days before she actually picked them up and brought them into the house. But, um, anyways, that's really all you need to do. And like Megan said, they, they keep for a long time. I mean, the potatoes that, that we grew our slip from this spring we were still eating them. Um, they were still fine to eat. But, um, so anyways, we're done with our sweet potato harvest here. And we've got, even though it didn't put off as much as it should have, we've got more sweet potatoes than we've had in a very long time. So we're happy. Um, we can't complain at all. We've got more than enough to, to do what, to for us to eat on through the winter. And now when you're getting your sweet potatoes up, You'll find these little tiny ones like this. That ain't enough for us to fool with, but that'll make a nice treat for my milk cow or the goats or anything. Uh, so we picked those up too, and we'll separate those out and I'll have those uh, to feed to the critters. Um, I'll show you what we did get. We got, that's all white potatoes, white sweet potatoes. One, two, three. This one, and there's a few in another bucket over there. So, I mean, we've got enough sweet potatoes that well, they'll last us a year, this this many. We don't eat them a ton. We better start eating them a little more because <laughs> like he said, it's the most we've ever had. So, um, give me your best sweet potato recipes in the comments if you want or send me an email, hello at thelawsonfarm.com. I'd love to hear your favorite sweet potato recipe so I know what to do with these things. So. That's all I got for you today. We're heading to the cornfield. Be on the lookout for that video too. And I'll talk to y'all next time.